have the opportunity to speak to such a serious issue. Uh, as many of you are aware, this is an issue that we hear nationally in our headlines every single day. This bill simply seeks to expand the need for reporting actions in which a student was disciplined for bullying. Uh, it is my belief that unhealthy children become unhealthy adults. On October 17, 2009, 17-year-old Tyler Long had had enough. After years of alleged bullying at the hands of his classmates in his, in his Monroe County school system, Tyler had gone from being a fun-loving child to what his parents said was a shell of a person they once knew. They took, pride, they took his pride from them, is the way the parents worded it. He had become a hollow person. One morning, two months into his junior year in high school, Tyler Long changed out of his pajamas, put on his favorite t-shirt and his favorite pair of jeans. He strapped a belt around his neck and hung himself from the top shelf of his bedroom closet. Surprisingly, rather than take action, the school refused to even honor his wishes with a moment of silence. Perhaps even more shocking was the revelation that Tyler's death was openly mocked in the school by his bullies and other classmates. According to the filmmaker and documentary of this story, who spent the last year examining bullying in America, other students, including some of the bullies, wore nooses around their necks after learning of Tyler's death and got away with this in school. A 2009 survey found that nine out of 10 LGBT youth reported being harassed in school this past year due to their sexual orientation. When it's harassment based upon sex or race, we can intervene, we can do something about that. But when it comes to other issues such as obesity, sexual orientation, there is no state policy or any law that protects our students. HB 429 simply seeks to combat this issue and give our children hope that if they wish to pursue their academic endeavors, that they can do it in a bully-free environment and have the support of their school board to ensure that it is not a choice between bullying. 